we have quite a mysterious package that arrived from Switzerland. No, I think it was from Germany. It wasn't quite such a surprise as you might think, because when I turned it over, of course, it had a terrific wax seal. Nowadays, people don't normally use wax seals, but it had a customs declaration, and it said on it, guitar plectrum. So I knew what was inside, and it was far more mysterious than if I didn't. And inside is a plectrum for plucking a guitar. You can see I don't know how to pluck a guitar. It was made specially for me by Patrick Hufschmidt. Now what's interesting about it is that it contains strontium aluminate. Not pure strontium aluminate, but strontium aluminate doped with a rare earth element, probably europium, though he didn't tell me which one. So it glows in the dark. It's nice and shiny and it feels like plastic, though it's a slightly strange colour. It could almost be ivory, but it's a bit too green. It contains europium and when you shine light on it, the europium stores some of the absorbed light energy and then lets it out over a period of time. Strontium aluminate itself, that's a compound of strontium, aluminium and oxygen, is not particularly special when it comes to optical properties. But if you put in a rare earth, for example, europium, or sometimes people put in dysprosium, so that's why I'm not certain, because he didn't say which one, then the atoms of the rare earth, which are isolated, rather like the fruit in the Christmas cake, they absorb ultraviolet light, which you can't really see, or short wavelength light, and then emit it in the visible light. So the material glows in the dark, but it emits light much more slowly than it absorbs it. So it will go on glowing in the dark for several minutes after you've illuminated it. I'm not quite sure why one would need a glowing plectrum. After all, if you're looking at the strings to see where you're plucking, you're probably not playing the guitar properly. But it is really fun. And if I look at it in my hand, I can see it glowing. So for the fifth day of Christmas, we have a glowing guitar plectrum.